What's going on YouTube? Q back here again with another video for you. Today's video, I am at MRT. If you don't know what MRT is, they're the people that did my axle backs on the ZL1. So the axle backs are just half the story. So what we're going to do here today is finish the rest of the install. So the last time uh, I mentioned that the ZL1 and the SS1 LEs, they have different rear differentials. So their catback system doesn't fit on here. So what they're going to do today is make a custom exhaust for the ZL1s. So this will be the first one. And I will let you all know if it's available for everybody. So stay tuned. But before we proceed, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell. Browse the channel. Let's jump into today's video. So the ZL1 will be here for some time, like I don't know, it could be a day, it could be two days, it could be a week. So they have to engineer it, test it, and just make sure everything works out fine. And I'm interested to see where they put the H-pipe and the drone management system, because on the one that they have that exists, it goes underneath where the rear differential is, but it's so big on here that it's too bulky to fit. So if they were to put the drone management system under this differential, there's a possibility that the whole thing would get yanked out just because of uh, how low it would be to the ground. We don't want that. So I'm back at MRT. Two days later, they have completed the exhaust. It'll be, a, be available to you all soon. So I have the first ZL1 with an H-pipe cap back. So with this, it's uh, set to have no drone. We'll see in a minute. So I haven't driven the car. I've heard the car start up, but that's it. So I'm about to get in here and do some revs and some flybys and then drive home so you all get to hear it along with me so as i explained in the last video when i was here they were not able to do the original h pipe because it has a drone management system on there to where it went where the rear differential was the e-diff and they couldn't do it so now they have modified the system and they say it sounds good so it's tested on the version one and the version two. Oh, huh. you want to say hi what do you want to say? Hi. So this system is available for everybody now. So if you got a ZL1, it's going to fit. So they didn't do the H-pipe in the front. They did it in the rear. And I haven't seen that yet because I haven't seen the car on the lift. Everybody's out to lunch now. And they have other cars back there now. But I will get that footage of what it looks like underneath the vehicle. So we'll take a look at that. So it's modified for ZL1s, SS1 LEs, manuals, and automatics. So like we were explaining in the last video, he could have, it would have been best to do the H-pipe up front, but we couldn't do that because of the automatic transmissions and we want to keep things simple. So the H-pipe is going to be in the rear and that's where it says it's going to fit the manuals and automatics. And they all get the same thing, ZL1s, SS1 LEs with that E-diff. So my car was the guinea pig for that. Let me get a couple revs before I leave.
let's get this first impression actually driving. with the acceleration or the decel just to give it a little bit of throttle on decel so those pops started from 4,000 rpm and after it stopped I did a little bit on the accelerator on decel to where it still drops and it'll pop all the way down the tube reduced 
until you accelerate, which you should drop down the gear, but I would still call that like a two for a drone. And this is where it used to be like a four or five. So the H bike drastically removed that. And it's much quieter too. It's like I got the miss in my my active exhaust where I could open and close it. Let me go uphill the drones a little more. But um flat surfaces, the drone is virtually eliminated. But yeah, I got the miss in my, my active exhaust for closing it. Because with that drone, they got annoying at times. The drone is annoying. I hate drone. But this definitely takes it out there. So kudos to MRT for doing that. And those of you wondering what MRT stands for, it stands for MRT. So back in the day, it used to stand for Mustang Racing Technology, but they actually sell more Camaro stuff than Mustangs these days. So MRT just means MRT because he does all cars now. Shout out to the team over there. Shout out to Scott for taking this on for me. Still cruising at 70. Drop it down.
tame. It's still louder than stock. Definitely louder than stock, but it's not obnoxiously loud. It's it's very, very, very good. Without the drone. Alright, I'm gonna speed it up once I merge on this freeway. Someone was asking about disabling the pops. If you got stock exhaust, you can just close the exhaust. Or if you give it enough gas on diesel, it won't pop. I personally love it though. I'm gonna pop every chance I get. Unless I see the police. Drop it down again. Second. Cat back H pipe three inch 
all the way back and the black tips for the same price. Like, I can't beat that. That's her, baby. Back home with the Camaro with the H pipe cat back from MRT. Thoroughly impressed. So, with the drone, I'll say this system has less drone than the Hellcat with stock mufflers because the Hellcat's drone factory, like that's that's the thing. So, I'll say a drone's less than that. If you can tolerate that, then this is an amazing system. Like, it's, it's that good. It hasn't been tested yet on the SS1 LE. Somebody's gonna have to go up there and do it. So, Blueprint one LE, go ahead, it shows her. But yeah, that's that's how it sounds on the ZL1. Love it, man. I love it. Is that's got to be my favorite mod. The pops are more. There's more pops. They're more aggressive. No, the drone is like significant. It's a, it's a one, one or a two. I I gotta say that I can't say no drone, but it's virtually no drone. So yeah, I love it. So if you're local and in the Camaro Club. You know how to find me if you want to check the exhaust out then see me in these streets battery just died i have to redo my ending so make sure you all take care don't forget to like comment subscribe hit the bell browse the channel stay tuned for what's next and i'll see you later peace out